In this course, we will learn about preparation of masonry mortars. Mortar is a heterogeneous mixture of sand, cement and water to the required consistency. These three components are mixed in a prescribed ratio for use in building together with masonry units. Plasticizers are used in plain cement sand mortars to improve workability. Mortars can be classified as cement mortars, lime mortar and sand cement lime mortars. Following are the mortar selection criteria for masonry work. Type of masonry, brick, stone or concrete blocks. Situation of use of the masonry. Whether in foundation or superstructure. Conditions of surrounding soil in the case of masonry buried below ground level. Degree of exposure to weather. Flexibility and loading which masonry will have to bear. Special conditions like fire, insulation and rate of setting. Type and grading of fine aggregates. Each type should have specific amount of cement, sand mixes and chemicals. Mix largely depends on practical experience. Refer to general notes on masonry drawings to confirm grade of mortar required for different type of masonry work. The mortar proportion depends on the nature of work. 1 to 3 proportion with lime is used for waterlogged areas and exposed positions. 1 to 2 proportion is used for damp proof courses. 1 to 1 to 1 to 2 proportion is used for pointing work. 1 to 6 proportion is used for brickwork and stone masonry. Mortar properties depend largely upon the type of sand it contains. The sand shall be hard, durable, clean and free from organic matter and shall not contain clay, silt and dust. Round grains do not interlock properly. High amount of sand will make your mix very brittle and weak against all kinds of forces. Sand should be properly graded. For masonry mortar, zone 3 sand is used, where the grading falls outside the limits of the grading zones of sieves other than 150, 300 and 600 micron is sieved by a total amount not exceeding 5%, it shall be regarded as falling within the grading. Fineness modulus of sand is between 2.2 to 2.6 for masonry mortar and clay content should be less than or equal to 5% as per is 1542, 1992. For plaster mortar zone 4 sand is used. Fineness modulus of sand is greater than 1.4, and clay content should be less than or equal to 5% as per is 1542, 1992. Another important constituent of mortar can be lime. Lime was traditionally used as the binding material in lieu of Portland cement. Lime mortar, when compared to cement mortar, is not that strong, has weaker binding properties, and is more porous. Limes shall be classified in Class A, B, C, D and D categories. Class A, eminently hydraulic lime used structural purposes. Class B. Semi-hydraulic lime used masonry and plaster under coat. Class C. Fat lime for finishing coat in plastering, whitewashing. Class D. Magnesium slash dolomitic lime finishing coat in plastering, whitewashing. Class E. Conquer lime for masonry mortars. Durability of mortar. The volume of mortar changes due to setting, hardening, and moisture loss. This will result in cracks. It also reduces bond strength between masonry units. It is very important for life of mortar to mix it thoroughly, intimately, and uniformly. Preparation of Cement Mortar Cement shall be proportioned only by full bags. Hydrated lime and aggregates shall be measured by volume using gauge boxes of suitable capacity. Take one bag and spread in a tray. Tray should be clean and watertight. Unit weight of some loosely placed material are as shown. If the aggregates and lime are not mixed by volume, use these unit weights. 
Sand and cement are mixed well by turning over from one end to another end. For proper mixing, it is done three or four times. Obtain a uniform color of the dry mix. Make required size of pond and dry material for water. Add water according to the portion. Produce a workable consistency. Mix wet mortar 5 to 10 minutes before using. For good practice, mortar to be used within 30 minutes after water addition. Mixing of mortar using lime. Lime should be slacked and made into putti. Putti and sand in the specified proportions shall be mixed with or without addition of water on a dry waterproof platform or in a mixer. Mixing of mortar using mixer machine. The mixing shall be done till every particle of the aggregate is coated uniformly with the cementitious material. This dry mixture should be added in mixture machine, water added and mixed for at least 3 minutes. Requirements of a good mortar for masonry are strength, workability, water retention and low drying shrinkage. A strong mortar will have adequate crushing strength. It is necessary that mortar should attain initial set early enough to enable work to proceed at a reasonable pace. At the same time it should gain strength within reasonable periods so that masonry is in a position to take load early.